Hi everyone and welcome, my name is Dora and this is my first update to Pamela's eyeshadows 2024. So I've been working on five different eyeshadows and my goal is to hit pan, but in case you don't know, I also always allow myself to veto one shade every month and it doesn't matter how many times I've used it. I'm quite excited about today's update because I do have one rollout. Let me start with that one, why not? So this was the shade that I hand selected in my last update. There's always one, so I randomized the palette, but there's always one that I have recently been hand selecting. And the shade comes from the Catrice Tropic Exotic Limited Edition eyeshadow palette here. Just shade number eight. And it's a blue, kind of teal leaning shimmer. Here's a swatch of it. And I can confirm to you that after 12 uses, I have managed to hit pan. This palette was pretty much untouched, so I had no idea how long it would take me to hit pan. And these are quite deep, but also very powdery. And this matched really well with a, another blue shade that I've got in my Expand Those Pans project. So I was really happy to use it. I mean, obviously I also hand selected it. So yeah, this one is rolling out. I'm so happy because that means that another palette has come out of my palettes without a pan list. And I randomized from that list for my project level up as well. Then the next shade with the most uses on it is a shade called Obsess. And it comes from my Revolution Pro New Neutral Romance palette. And here's what it was looking like last time. I've used this shade now 10 times. And here's what this is looking like now. Now, usually in these shimmer shades, in these Revolution Pro New Neutral palettes, it takes me around 10 uses to hit pan. However, with this one, I think like the formula is like starting to dry out. So it's a little bit hard panny. I'm not that close to pan yet, but I think I'm, I'm not gonna veto this one. I do enjoy it. So it's got like a warm reddish brown base and then like a pink, but also green shimmer to it. In the beginning, I was using my finger with it, but that sort of led to hard pan. So instead I've been using a brush and then putting it on top of the eye look that I'm trying to pan as part of my pan that palette or pan those palettes. And it works really nicely on that. And then these next three eyeshadows, I've got the same amount of uses on them, just two. And I'm gonna show you the Vita shade last, I think. Yeah, all right. So there's this one here. It comes from my Revolution Utopia palette and it's called Fiction. And here is what this is looking like now after two uses. It's very pretty, but yeah, not into that kind of shade right now. I've really like been into like the cool toned looks lately. So I think it's just the season. Maybe once it starts getting a bit warmer, I will wear this more often. But I'm gonna keep it in because I think this is a nice and easy formula to hit pan in once I decide to actually wear it a bit more often. Then I've got a shade called Release from my XX Revolution Bare Lux palette. Also used it twice. This was untouched until I swatched it in my intro. And here's what the shade is looking like now. It's a good deepening out shade sort of purplish leaning, but a bit more brown than, certainly more brown than the sort of burgundy matte shade that I'm trying to pan in my Pan That palette, in my fun sized one, yeah. So I'm gonna keep it in here because I think it's a useful shade to have around. And then finally, another Revolution Pro New Neutral palette, this one is called Passion, and the shade is called Vice. And yeah, also two uses on there. Not a lot of visible progress, obviously. It's a beautiful reddish pink. It's very pretty, but I've got a couple of very similar shades in my main pan that palette for this year. So I'm gonna veto this one out. Also strategically, a matte is harder to pan. I mean, I could take this one out, but yeah, I feel like I've got more easy use for release rather than for vice, so vice is gonna go. So, two more shades rolling in. And here's the thing. Okay, this is what I'm deciding to do. Okay, if you don't know this, I am doing five eyeshadow projects this year. Like, what was I thinking? 
I have completely overstretched myself. I'm like starting to get stressed out over it, which is ridiculous because obviously padding is fun and it should be fun. And I had a chat with my friend Billy and I'm playing Do You Pay My Battleship with her over on Instagram as well. To cut a long story short, I am today going to randomize two shades from my Battleship playing field. There's 20 shades in there. I'm gonna insert a picture here. So I'm gonna randomize from one to 20. Billy's totally cool with it. I said I always wanted to keep one Battleship shade in here and she's like, why not make it two? Like, yeah, all right. I think you're right, Billy. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Ugh. And then I think I limit it to either one or two Battleship shades each month. But yeah, it just happens to be that both of them, I'm not gonna come from my entire collection but from those 20 shades, and they're really pretty. I mean, I picked them out myself, so. Yes, it is double dipping, but it's gonna help me to like stay on track and also be motivated. And it's gonna calm me down a little bit as well, because I think I got a little bit ahead of myself. I'm gonna say though, I'm very burnt out on blue shades right now. So if it's Gala, so that first shade in the top left corner, I'm gonna re-roll. And also if it's Hort, shade number 17, so in the bottom row, I'm gonna re-roll again. If it's Me Time, the third shade on the top row, I'm happy with that. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, let's do this. Oh, okay, clear history. And from one to 20, shade number 14 and shade number 15. Let's take a look. Okay, so shade number 14 is Promise and it comes from Revolution Utopia. Okay, that's good. I've already got Fiction in here. So this shade here is already from the same palette. That's very handy. And then Glamour, oh, I like that one. From the Revolution Nude Rain, Creator Revolution Nude Rain palette. That's a massive palette, but why not? I'm definitely feeling those tones. That's really good. Okay, let me grab the palettes. Hi, so I totally forgot to talk about my pan percentage as well. So I wanted to quickly do that before I post this video. So I've got a total amount of 638 eyeshadows, of which I've got 53 eyeshadows with pan, and that makes for a pan percentage of 8.3%. My goal for this year is to be at 12%. So I think that's doable, but I think I'm going to probably continue to take out any decluttered palettes, even if they have pans in them, you know, I would like take them out of my spreadsheet. So you might see this number go up and down, but that's fine. I think last year I was at something like three point something percent in January and I wanted to reach 10% and I didn't make that. So the fact that there's only like really like a around about 4% difference uh, between where I'm at now compared to my goal, I think I can do that. I do want to say though very quickly that if there are any eyeshadows that I finish, I'm not going to take them out of my pan percentage because to me that is such a big achievement that I wouldn't want to penalize myself for finishing an eyeshadow, for example, in my pan that palette. I've now just rolled in an eyeshadow to finish in my expand those pans here as well. So um, yeah, the intro is already up. I don't think the update is going up before this video, but anyway, I will take them out at the end of the year when I reset at the beginning of the new year. Long way to go. But uh, yeah, I don't want to penalize myself for that. So if I've hit that pan, it's gonna stay in here until the 31st of December. If I get any more eyeshadow palettes, I'm on a low buy for eyeshadow palettes. Um, yeah, you can hear more about that in my no buy project pan. Again, I'm gonna link that here. Then that's also gonna affect my pan percentage. But, and I think I'm keeping that in mind with having a fairly low goal for the end of this year. So hopefully I can do it. Okay, here's my new color story. Yeah, it looks very samey, but I think I'm okay with that. 
compared to the old one here. And these top two shades are my new ones. So this one is Glamour, and then this one is Promise. Okay, I'm gonna show them to you in the pan. So Glamour comes from the Creative Revolution Forever Limitless Nude Rain Palette. That has got 27 pans in here. And here is Glamour. So it's a pretty shimmery, warm, bronzy type of shade. I think I'm gonna enjoy that. It seems when I swatched it, it seems buttery enough that I can just apply it with my finger, possibly on top of another eyeshadow look already, you know? I think this could work really well for the shade that I am picking out to hit pan in from my Natasha Denona My Dream palette for project level up, level one. So I think that's really cool. I'm gonna see how that works. Yeah, happy with that. And then Promise comes from the Utopia palette again. And it's this super pretty fuchsia type pinkish purple matte shade here. And here's the swatch, yeah. It's definitely different enough from Vice, that bottom one from last time. I feel happy because this is like more cool tone, more purple rather than pink and red. Yeah, okay. And then here's Fiction from the same palette, and that's Obsess, and then Release, yeah, okay. Okay, so that's that. I hope you don't mind. I mean, ultimately, I guess it's just, you know, whatever people want to do. It's an actual commitment to, you know, work on certain eyeshadows and wear certain looks, because looks can make you feel a certain way. Yeah, maybe I'm going too deep into it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope all of your projects are going really well. I hope you're not overstretching yourself. If you are, maybe it's okay to double dip a little bit here and there. I think we can let ourselves off. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day or night, wherever you are, and I'm sending you so much love. Take care, bye. Mwah.